Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn how to troubleshoot an error, failed to send request, or unable to log in with Data Loader. Users who attempt to connect to Salesforce via Data Loader login may receive an error, failed to send request. This may be resolved by updating Data Loader settings and working in conjunction with your network administrator. These are the five ways to troubleshoot data loader connection issues before contacting support. Solution one is to check if the server has been set to https forward slash forward slash login.salesforce.com or if you're using a sandbox, the URL is https forward slash forward slash test.salesforce.com in this screencast, I'll use the production URL and put it in the Data Loader Salesforce login URL box. Solution two, if you're still having issues using the generic hosts in the previous step, try connecting your instance directly via the altered URL. In this screencast, I'll delete login and put NA134 instead, since that's the instance where my org resides. Solution three, if you're getting the error message, failed to send request to this address. Typically, this indicates that you are going through a proxy server. We recommend contacting your IT department to get the following information. Proxy host, proxy port, proxy username, proxy password settings. These settings can be accessed when you open Data Loader. Click on Settings from the menu, and scroll down to enter the information. Solution four, check network connectivity or local machine issues to see if the affected user record login history has been recorded. This can be accessed on the Salesforce user page. Scroll down to the login history related list. Check for incorrect password attempts, login restrictions, and missing security tokens. For more information about tokens, please review the link at the bottom of the screen. We've also put this link in the short description of this video for you. Otherwise, check with your network team to ensure that they have added IP addresses for inclusion on allow lists to your network setup. For more information about IP addresses, please review the link on the bottom of the screen. Again, we've also put this link in the short description of the video for you. Solution five, Data Loader connects using standard HTTPS port 443. If everything has been attempted, then work with your IT team to review network performance issues. For more information about network issues, please review the link at the bottom of the screen. And yep, we've put this link in the short description for you. If you continue to experience trouble with the Data Loader, you'll want to try uninstalling and reinstalling the latest version found via setup. Type data loader in the search box and click on data loader. Alternatively, you may consider installing data loader on another machine to rule out any local machine issues. Log a case with Salesforce support if you still need assistance. Please make sure to provide all the troubleshooting steps you have attempted and document it in the case. This saves time for the support engineer to solve your issue. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you'll need API enabled and modify all data permissions. If you're interested in using the data loader or have issues, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.